Another search continues in the Western UP for Chris Regan. He was last seen on October 14th of 2014. You know, there was never a time where he wouldn't answer the phone or text me back. I couldn't get a hold of him for like a week. Topping our news tonight, an arrest in the case of Christopher Regan. 33-year-old Kelly Cochran was taken into custody without incident. By I was trying to keep up the staff that I was a horrible killer. Good evening. I'm Cynthia Thompson. Murder is not commonplace in Upper Michigan, but tonight, an Upper Michigan murder investigation that spanned both two years and two states. The story starts in the western UP's Iron County, population 11,000. Christopher Carl Regan grew up in southeastern Michigan. He joined the Air Force not long after high school. He retired as a master sergeant okay. in the Air Force. Okay. What was his job in the Air Force? He was in charge of like transportation. He started as a mechanic, but you know, sending supplies and stuff overseas. Chris was stationed at K.I. Sawyer Air Force Base in the 1980s, a place where outdoor recreation is available year-round. Very outdoorsy. Um, like to go camping a lot, hiking, stuff like that. Wasn't, a, never a hunter, so that was all right. Yeah. I'm not much of a hunter either. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you think of, of some similarities between you and your dad? Oh, yeah. Very much so. It's I like outdoors, camping, all that stuff. Mountain biking for sure. We we're both huge into cycling. And that love of being outside helped grow the relationship between Chris and his oldest son. They had plans to move together to North Carolina in late 2014. I don't know what the job was. We were gonna move to Asheville in November of that same year. And because they had those plans, Chris Jr. had a sixth sense that something was wrong when he couldn't get in touch with his dad. There was never a time where he wouldn't answer the phone or text me back whether he's working or anything. And I couldn't get a hold of him for like a week. And I, you know, you get that gut feeling and then I got the call from Laura. And I was like, yeah, I kind of already knew. Former Iron River Police Chief Laura Frizzo was the lead investigator in the case. And right out of the gate, I wanted to know who Chris Reagan was. Like, who is this guy? You know, I've never met this guy. It's a small town. So um, I learned about him. I got his military records. I got his work history from, you know, past employers. And I did that quite quickly just to kind of find out who this guy was, maybe get an idea, think like he did. Um, and the more I got to know Chris Reagan, then the more devoted I got to it because he was a good person and he's he didn't deserve what happened to him and we wanted to you know get some answers but those answers were hard to come by did you think as some people did that he went missing on his own no no never <laughs> not a chance no not a chance so what did you think happened something really bad something bad had happened and it was a long 18 months before an arrest was made 